Welcome back everyone. Today is part seven of the making of my Horace Kephart knife. And we're getting our little backyard forge going. We got the charcoal lit. Just got a little uh, piece of uh, sheet metal in there to keep everything kind of together. A couple bricks. And uh, we have our blower over there. We're gonna wait for this to get up to heat. We're going to throw a blade in there and uh, see if we can get a heat treat on this. So we'll bring you back when uh, we get closer. Okay, we got the blade in there. The other little piece of steel you see I use to uh, heat up the oil. We got a uh, tub of canola oil. And then right there we got the magnet. And we're just going to wait for this to come up to temperature and we're going to quench it and hopefully we don't burn up the yard and it comes out good. So I'll bring you back when I'm ready for the quench. All right, now we're gonna take a look at it, see if it's straight or not. Hopefully it is. Okay, not sure if that showed up, but we do have a little bit of a warp in it. So I have two options. I could try to straighten it up when I do the heat temper, or I could um, do this again, the heat treat. But I think I'm gonna try with the tempering. I'm gonna clamp this into a uh, angle iron, and I'm gonna put it in the oven at uh, 400 degrees or 450 degrees for about an hour and then I'm going to cool it quick with water and I'm going to do that twice and I'm going to see if I can get a, a straighter blade so I'm going to let that cool down a little bit so I can uh, remove some of the scale and then do that in the oven so stand by all right so I removed some of the scale I, I don't know if I just had beginner's luck or what but it hardened I, I checked it with a file the file just skates off the edge so now what I'm going to do is I have these two pieces of angle iron I'm going to clamp this in between you can see that bow now turn it around you can see uh, that warp in there and I'm going to clamp these together uh, very gently, <coughs> excuse me, very gently and uh, put this in the oven for an hour tempering cycle at about 450 and then cool it off really quick and then do that twice and hopefully after the second time it comes out straight. So I'll be back when uh, that's done. Okay, got to do that one more time, then we'll be back. Okay, so I finished the cycles in the oven, uh, the tempering, straightening out cycles. I had to do it three times, and the third time I had to put a penny in it uh, against which way it was bowed. Um, it's hard to explain, but let me see if I can. So I had warpage, so it wasn't sitting flat. So the curve was coming down this way, and I put the penny on this side, and I clamped it down. 
Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I had to do everything quick, so I didn't film that part of it, but basically it just added a, uh, just a little bit of a distance from here, the width of a penny, the thickness of a penny. And then the blade came out perfectly straight. I mean, it's as straight as an arrow. Okay. Then um, the cleanup part, I didn't want to bore you with that. So basically the same way that I ground the blank on the um, belt sander, I did the same thing again. And I raised the plunge line a little bit to get myself just a little past middle. And I like that a little better. So then the cleanup was just done. Let's see if I can get you over to here. I just have this little block of wood in the vise and uh, two short pins that just fit right on where the holes are drilled. And then it just got some sandpaper on the back of a uh, file. And you just sand away, get off all that. I, I guess it's kind of like what you would consider scale, mill scale, or discoloration from the uh, the heat treat so I'm really happy with it um, got a little bit more final sanding to do but uh, it's coming out nice I like the way it feels hopefully this is all showing up it's getting uh, dark out but uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is let me move this over I think it's a little better light over here So the last thing to do is, um, not the last thing, but the next thing we're going to do is we're going to sharpen it and then we're going to uh, epoxy the handles on, the, the scales. So we're getting close to the end, but I'm going to wrap this one up for today. I'm just really excited that I was able to heat treat it and uh, get that temper on it and it's straight as a whistle. So like always everyone, I really appreciate your views, I, I appreciate your comments and um, I hope you all are having a great day and we'll catch you on the next part.